Please give it up a warm Ignite Denver 13 welcome to Helene Kwong. Everyone, spelling used to be very important in our lives. I remember it was actually one subject in school, and in elementary school, I actually was pretty good at with spelling. You know, considering I'm Asian, um, but <laughs> I remember I actually won the school-wide school. I didn't win the school-wide school only. I won second place at the spelling bee, and that was a big accomplishment for me. And I remember I. For, for years, or yeah, for ages, like I was uh, so excited, like, yeah, I'm second place. But then here comes PCs, Macs, and smartphones with our wonderful spell check, grammar check, and even autocorrect. Um, we've become a little lazy in our society these days when it comes to spelling, spell checked and following wonderful autocorrects like this one. Um, sometimes people don't even, even realize they're making a spelling error or using the wrong word. Uh, for instance, it's even linked over into books. I was reading a chick lit book about how these four women dreamed of marrying their high school sweethearts. It was such a sweet story. Actually, that was as far as I got. Because the writer depended too much on her spell check and it actually turned out to be marring which means to disfigure or spoil the quality of. So I felt a little sad about their high school sweethearts because they were gonna actually disfigure them. Then, one friend one time tweeted out to me trying to ask, how many friends are you bringing to this party? And it was a simple enough question, right? Bringing, how many friends are you bringing? But then, he left out the G, and he wrote, how many friends are you brining? Which means to salt, to cure, such as brined anchovies. I really hope I wasn't gonna brine any friends because that would've been very uncomfortable and awkward. And then there's the word emulate. My friend was writing an essay about how she wanted to emulate her boss. This photo, this is of my dad. He's a kung fu master. I wanna emulate him because he's super awesome, you know, but my friend, she ended up using a different word that sounded like it. She used the word emulate, which actually means to sacrifice, to set on fire. And luckily her dad corrected her on that spelling, mis that, that spelling uh, mistake, so her professor wouldn't be thinking uh, she needed to, you know, go to jail or something. But as you see, we've become lazy with our wonderful spell check depend dependency using the wrong word except, using a ton of commas that you don't really actually need. You know you can actually write without any spelling errors, but it will still not make any sense. Just like this guy who's reading the book Wicked upside down. And that's probably why he looks all confused and everything, because he doesn't know what's going on. So most common spelling error I would see is the whole you are your. I actually had my brother show me one time an argument. A guy was like, you're stupid. Someone was trying to correct him. You are stupid. Then he's like, no, you're stupid. <laughs> and then of course, there's the less common but still prevalent error of there, there, there. I mean, how can you confuse all three of these because they mean such different things. There, there, there. Yes, it sounds the same. And then you get stuff like this that you find overseas. When I die, I will go to heave. And my, I bought this shirt because my older brother thought it was funny and I thought it was good for my little brother. So I was like, it sounds heavely. <laughs> but stuff like this that you find in Japan or in o other places, I, I think it's acceptable to get these funny little things because it's English as a second language. And, you know, it's amusing to us because it's fun to read. But when it comes to finding signs like these in America, it makes me very sad, because there is an apostrophe fail, donations, and gross use of capital letters, and you just really kind of can't understand the sign. So everyone, please do me a favor. Next time you're unsure of spelling a word, look it up in the dictionary, Google it, or ask someone like me to read through your blog post or essay before you post it, so you're not gonna embarrass yourself and make me go cry in the corner because it really hurts me when people make spelling mistakes that look like they're correct. <laughs> so
So remember, spell check ain't your friend. And if you want me to be l more impressed in this space, you can contact me. I got my Twitter, Facebook, et cetera. And let's talk. All right, thanks.